So you might be trying to connect a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con to your particular Android tablet. Now, doing this is very, very basic, and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your Samsung Galaxy tablet or Android tablet, whatever. You want to make your way over into your settings. So hop inside of your settings application, wherever it may be. And when you hop into here, you want to come into your Bluetooth connection settings. So find your Bluetooth connection settings. You'll find it like this. Now, what you want to do now is on your particular Joy-Con, you want to go and find this sync button that you have right here. So it's on top of the Joy-Con, it's like right next to this button. And all you have to do is hold this button down. And when you do that, you'll start to see these lights kind of go back and forth. When you see this, you're basically almost done. What you want to do is you want to wait until this Joy-Con pops up somewhere here. Now, in this case, you can see it still hasn't searched for it, so I can click scan again. Now we'll go and try finding it. When you see these lights, that means it's in pairing mode. Now you can see it still does not come up. So now you can see it does come up because it was already connected before. So when you see the Joy-Con left, right, whatever, you want to go ahead and tap on it. And what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and connect to this particular device. So all you have to do now is go and click on pair. And when you click on pair, you will see that this controller will now be connected to this you know, tablet. So it's going to say connecting. It's going to take a little bit of time. But then after a certain moment, it's going to be connected. And you'll see as you kind of move these things around, it'll go and move the you know cursor around here too, just like this. What you can do now is you can go through and you can even click I think, the home button or whatever. You can go and basically use this as you normally would. And you can connect it to a game, an emulator or whatever. If you ever want to unpair it, let's say you're done with it. You want to just you know kind of unpair it. You can make your way back into your settings application and just like so. You can find that Joy-Con like this and you can either tap on it to go and you know unpair it or you can just go and click on disconnect if there's a disconnect button or you can just click on pair and it will unpair it from. So and that's basically how it works. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.